الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله We ask Allah Azza wa Jal for ilm and nafiyah wa rizq and tayyibah wa amal and mutaqabbilan We ask Allah Azza wa Jal and this is a beautiful dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for ilm and nafiyah meaning beneficial knowledge and rizq and tayyibah meaning halal and lawful provisions wa amal al meaning deeds that are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ilm al nafiya ahabbatullah means ilm al sharia. It means ilm of the book of Allah and the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And that which is going to help you practice your Islam and help you understand your Islam and help you come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. That's beneficial knowledge. That's ilm al nafiya, ilm al shara. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man yurid Allahu bihi khayran yifakul fiddeen. Whenever Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion, gives him fiqh, you know, gives him the understanding of the religion. And the second part of the dua, Rizq and Tayyibah. Halal, uh, halal provisions, lawful provisions, good provisions. Good provisions are lawful provisions. Staying away from interest, riba. Staying away from unlawful transactions. Stay away, staying away from refraining from wasting your wealth on that which has no benefit or that which is muharram. That's a risk and tayyibah. That which you can spend in halal, and that which you spend in al halal, and that which you earn from halal. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. Wa amal al meaning deeds that are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our deeds, as we should be aware of, ahabatullah, there are two conditions for our deeds to be accepted. Number one, is that we have a class sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, is that it's our deeds are done in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's amal al Those are deeds that are accepted. That's how we get our deeds accepted in Islam. By those two criterion, by those two conditions being met. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.